Here's the Sunday extra. I hope you can hear me. Uh, the video that I put up for today earlier does not have the, my thing on. But now it's blowing, so I hope you can hear me because it was really too hot to talk. Now, this is a Sunday extra. It's kind of a Q&A for you. So these are questions about the worldly things that are going on. The first one I think I know the answer to. Have you noticed a price increase in groceries. If so, how much would you say? Would you say it's 25 cents, 50, 75, a dollar? How has your gas prices been? Have they come down? That one I can't answer because I just don't go anywhere. <laughs> and since I don't go anywhere, this only good blessing there is. I don't have to put gas in my car much. <clears throat> but I think I saw it, I think it was $3.99. So the prices have come down. That's right, I remember seeing $3.99. Um, our prices, yes, have gone up. Obviously, I use Insta Ripoff, and those prices are outrageous. It's so, such a shame that nobody can get me there. I'm hoping in the cooler weather I can go there and tolerate. The weather if it ever gets you know like 60 degrees because when you go in the grocery store well it used to the few times I got in previously <clears throat> it seemed like a sale <clears throat> excuse me but now the last time I was there it was getting closer I mean nowhere near what they charge in the Instacart plus you gotta pay all these fees you know for them to bring it to you and yes be in tax on that and this thing that you know I'm not going to talk about the fees. I'm just talking about the price of the products. But it's definitely cheaper in the stores. I really would like to go to Walmart. But that is just too far to go with my car. I do not trust it because I don't know what's wrong with it. But I wish I could get there. Nothing more to see if the prices are really getting as bad as people say. Now, I don't know if you've heard people are talking about that... Um, Prices will be doubling soon. I guess um, Walmart was one of the stores they mentioned. And I forgot ch what channel I was watching. And then they said, well, if there's only... do you, No, they said, do you think there's only stores that's going to do it? Well, if they are, then don't you think people would stop shopping there and go to other stores? Well, yeah. And I should have one of those channels that talks about other channels. I don't know how they do it, how they're allowed to put their stuff from the other channel onto their channel, but they're kind of fun. I mean, not to, there's some nasty channels that just tear people apart. I can't do that, but just like to talk about in that, like I'm talking now. But anyhow, um, yeah, no kidding. People stop going to Walmart if they do that. So that what they're trying to say is, well, if Walmart does it, other stores will too. Do you think they will actually double the prices that they are now? Like for example, oh, I went to the store, my main reason was to get eggs, it's always milk, but eggs, um, because I just can't trust those shoppers to, you know, they don't care, they don't open up, they don't look at the dates, they could bring you old eggs, cracked eggs, whatever. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you I wanted to do a story, I forgot, I'm going to do it separately about, well, I'll just remind me about Instacart, so I do the other one. But anyhow, um, I think it was three ninety nine a dozen. So that would be um, almost eight bucks for a dozen. These are regular eggs, not brown eggs, not cage free, not you know, chickens asleep on velvet pillows, or you know, I'm being sarcastic there, but you know what I mean. Do you think they'll actually double? Do you see people when you're in the store? Do you see them still buying the same thing? Do you see more people with baskets, if you have baskets, more than carts? Um, while I'm on that topic, in the state you live, are you allowed, does your store give those plastic bags? We haven't had bags, oh my gosh, it's been like two and a half years. It was before the, the oh, I almost said the word, before what happened to our world. So, I want to say March of 2019, or maybe even January, we don't get plastic bags in the store. Um, that's the way to get more money out of us, so they make us pay. I think it's, well, it's 119 or 129 through the Insta thing. But I would think with what's going on, 
plastic would be safer as far as, you know, people bringing stuff home, they could get the illness and then bring those bags back, so on and so forth. But anyhow, where was I that I went over to left field again? Um, so do you really think the prices will get that bad? Because um, I don't know how people will eat. I was shocked at the noodle prices because that's something I've been looking at. Um, there's this home style... Um, and sadly, it's almost, it's only Campbell's brand, but they have these very thin, small noodles, and I don't have to put in mush or crusher, and I can eat them. Now, looking for the generic, number one, is hard, because I remember I buy generic before the brand, but their noodles are harder, and they're not as soft, and then I have to put into a mush or crusher, and it just, you know, eating that soup makes me feel like, you know, I'm eating regular food. But our soup area, okay, I'm going all around. Apparently, this blog is just taking on a life of its own. <laughs> Anyhow, um, our soup area is almost non existent. I cannot believe we used to have like, I'd say three quarters of the way down an aisle was soup, no more. But um, have you noticed? Um, well, yeah, do you think that's going to happen? Prices have already gone up um, with the power. Oh, and I got you another video on the power coming. The people at the door coming and said they're going to shut my power off even though I pay my bill. Oh, can someone remind me in the comments? Uh, the Instacart story and the <clears throat> power story. Yeah, I didn't put down my notebook. I usually put down the ideas I have. And then, let's see, what else was I going to ask about? Hold on, let me think a second. Yes, then again, and I think these are prep prepping prepper channels, I don't know what they call themselves, that are talking about these things. They said that, well, they're saying that they're going to take people's money out of the bank. I don't know. I don't have that problem. I have what's called a working checking account, which means you just keep the minimum, which I think is, God knows, it used to be $5. I don't know what it is now. I hope it's only 5 well, I'm sure they let me know. But literally, if you don't keep the $5, they, <laughs> listen to this, okay? If you don't keep the five dollars in your account i mean that's what it used to be they will charge you a fee of just under like 19.95 so you have five so you're in the negative <laughs> makes no sense to me but anyhow someone was telling me a couple of people are actually telling me but i heard it on these prepper channels that they said like people are going to the bank i don't know to get i don't know tons of money out and not even tons i don't know I don't know, it was 5000 I think they said. And the bank was given a hard time, and so they'd give them half. And, again, this is what a channel is saying that someone said to them, or they read an article, I don't remember. But anyhow, so they're saying the banks are not letting you take as much money as you want out of your own money. Then I had talked to someone in real life, IRL as they call it on YouTube, who um, went to a, what's it called, the ATM, and they usually could take out, oh, what'd she tell me? I think it was $600. And she went to do it, and it said, um, I don't know, refused. I don't know what the word it was. So then she tried a bit lower, and she was able to get it. So in other words, they'd, they've lowered the amount. Now, I don't know. Now, hearing it from someone in real life, it's more believable than hearing you know on a channel like these prepper channels nothing against them but do you think they're doing this and i believe this person this person's reliable do you think they're doing this so in case people panic and they start taking their money out and what are they going to do with it i mean people with a lot of money were they going to stuff it in their mattress bury it in their yard i don't know according to the prepper channels you have to invest it in gold silver i think bitcoin's all done i don't even know what that is um, invest in food, water, these machines that you put water through, like scum pond water so you can drink it, I don't know. Um, I don't really know. I, I have, I take it with a grain of salt, what they say. But anyhow, so, and I've noticed our bank, the one I bank in, used to be open seven days a week, which was very convenient for me back in, you know, before I got sick. I don't remember my life before I got sick, but I remember it being convenient, like, if on a Sunday, I, it's the only day I could get to the bank, because I used to have many, many appointments with my son, as you know, 
even long ago before his health got worse. But um, so Sunday is to be a good day, and they were open till oh, I don't remember. It's been so long ago. I want to say one, three or one. And then they were open the other six days till five, which was very, very convenient. Now they're only open five days a week till either three or five. And they're open only on Saturdays till one or three. I don't know. But anyhow, if the world's all better and, you know, schools are open and no one has to mask and they can go to the football games and the bars and the concerts, why can't the bank do regular hours? I don't know. How is it in your place? Did your banks change their hours? Um, our grocery store did. We had a 24-hour grocery store and they were closed. I almost think one point they're closing at 10, but maybe I'm mistaken, but they, they close at midnight and they've never gone back to normal hours. But yet they're saying everything is normal. I hope you're not seeing my hand. I just noticed my hand under here. Oh well, if you did, you did. <laughs> Anyhow. Have any of your grocery stores changed hours when all this happened and now just kept those same hours? Originally it was, they said, for sanitizing the stores and such, which they, I don't know if they did. I mean, they used to wipe off the conveyor belt before you put your stuff on. They don't. The um, employees aren't wearing masks. So basically, everything's like back to the way it was. It's not. It never will be. Okay, that's my prediction. And never will be, but I guess they just make the rules they want. Like, they don't have to wear masks, they don't have to wash off the cards, they don't, we will not go back to plastic bags, so if someone had the disease in the house and then they bring in their nasty bags, um, I, I don't know. But anyhow, so do you have plastic bags or do you have to buy reusable bags? Did your stores change hours? I don't think, I don't know if the drugstores did because... I usually tried to go in the day, but I think they're open. I remember calling one. It's not the one I usually go to, but I had um, looked there because they have these migraine pads that I use, which really help with my heat problem. But yeah, I don't understand why the grocery store doesn't go back to 24 hours because, you know, sometimes, I mean, if I wasn't sick, well, even if I'm sick, but now I don't think it's really safe to go out at night. But let's just say we lived in a more perfect world where it was safe to go out at night. For me, it would be easier to go out later, like when it's 60 degrees out. But let me know how it is in your area. So if you can answer those questions, and if you don't mind saying what state you live in, so um, let us know. And also, um, if you say what state you live in, tell us what time zone you're in, because I'm always interested in that, and so is Polly. So I hope you can do this. I guess it's a reverse q and A. I'm asking you the Q's and you give me the A's. So for now, don't forget to subscribe. If you like my content, hit the like or just hit it just to, you know, help a girl out. Um, don't forget to share our channel. Be kind to people. You don't know what they're going through. Well, we all know what we're all going through, but everyone has their own problems on top of it. Be kind to yourself. And what you do nice for yourself every day, once a week, whenever you do, it's really nice. Once a day, you should do something nice. If it's like I say, just sitting down, relaxing, doing some meditation, eating your favorite something, if it's still within reach of eating prices. <laughs> um, do you do anything for yourself? Because I know as women, which I think my channel is pretty much almost all women, we don't seem to do things for ourselves. So let me know. I hope I hope a whole bunch of you answer um, the questions because I'd be interested to know. Also, you know me, I worry. So I haven't heard from anyone on the channel really. So I'm wondering how you're doing. So for now, stay safe. And thanks for stopping by.